Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to add another person to Face ID on iPhone. It has been a few years since Apple debuted Face ID with the iPhone X. It marked a significant improvement over existing face detection technology. But what if multiple people use your iPhone? Do you have to unlock it every time? Thankfully, no. You can add up to two users on the same device. Apple terms it as an alternate appearance. Initially, I presumed the feature was meant for people with different appearances, and I was not wrong. However, the alternate appearance feature can be used to add another person to the system. Once done, both can unlock the device using your face. This is akin to sharing your password with another person. Before trying to add another person, enable the facial recognition feature. Follow the steps below to add another person to the system. Open settings on your iPhone. Select Face ID and Passcode. Enter the passcode to proceed. Tap Set up an alternative appearance. A floating window with instructions appears. Select Get Started to begin the process. Move your head to complete the circle. Be patient, as this might take a while. Kudos! You have now added another person. A word of caution. Facial recognition is used to authenticate personal things like banking transactions or access to Google Photos. Only add people you trust the most to the system. And always remember, they have complete access to your device and the associated apps. iOS offers a lot of flexibility and control over Face ID. You can choose where it can be used and for what purpose. For instance, Face ID can unlock certain apps or authenticate App Store transactions. iOS offers a lot of flexibility and control over Face ID. You can choose where it can be used and for what purpose. For instance, Face ID can unlock certain apps or authenticate App Store transactions. During the pandemic, iPhone users were hassled by the Face ID. One had to remove the mask to authenticate themselves. Soon enough, Apple tweaked the feature to work with masks. If you wear a mask, enable this option instead of using a passcode. What if you want to delete a person's face from the system? Well, this can be done using the reset feature. Do note that once reset, there is no way to recover you will have to set it up fresh. One caveat is that you cannot delete individual access. The only way is to delete all the profiles at once. On the bright side, setting up a new Face ID doesn't take much time or effort. Attention Aware feature ensures that the device unlocks only when you are directly looking at the phone. The True Depth camera offers a layer of details for this feature to work. Attention Aware is very useful when someone forces you to unlock it, or even when you are asleep. The expiry passcode feature will forcibly retire the old passcode once it is changed. Otherwise, iOS 17 has a feature wherein the old passcode is valid for 48 hours after being changed. Check out our guide on how to use previous passcode expire feature on iOS 17. Multiple Face ID is useful when two or more people use your device. Furthermore, you can control which apps can use facial recognition. We suggest using passcode for sensitive apps like banking, financial and photos. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.